So look, I am constantly amazed at how, how many comments I see about people asking me, why don't I use my Pocket 3 more? When the reality is that I've been using it in every video. So I guess it's just, I guess it's just that good. <laughs> guys have been asking me if I have some tips for vlogging with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and y'all, let me y'all know I got y'all back. Since I am here in Austria, I thought I'd pull up and share some tips on how to vlog with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Look, I am spilling the teas. Okay, made it in a gondola. Now the first tip I have when vlogging with the Pocket 3 is to change the gimbal mode to FPV. That way you can actually swivel it and get those angles that you want to get. B-roll's okay. I would say B-roll, definitely put it in follow mode, but definitely switch it to FPV if you're one of those shooters that like to control what the shot is going to look like. Because if you don't, it's always going to be straight when it's really tilted. So I would say definitely Definitely take advantage of FPV mode. Also, put the speed at fast. Uh oh, we're shaking. Come on. I found that the slow and medium mode are a bit too slow, and the fast is pretty much spot on. The fast is perfect. It's a little bit slower than the other pocket cameras, but it's definitely the best. Uh oh, we moving. Come on, stay up, stay up. <laughs> the vlogs are just so personal. When you're not like shooting B roll or walking, FPV is probably the best for vlogging. And that's just, I mean, that's my opinion. So, FPV mode for the gimbal, and then the speed of the gimbal, fast. And you, you are Gucci. Wow, look at that. Can y'all see that? Look how pretty that is. Make sure these boots are tight, man. Like, for some reason, every time I go skiing, I, look, I don't know how to work these boots. <laughs> I'm just being real, man. Look, look, I, I'm from the south side of Chicago, y'all. Like, we don't go skiing. I'm like legit the only person in my family who's ever probably even touched a ski. And y'all think I'm joking, but nah, I'm, I'm not. Which reminds me, y'all, come on, y'all need to come skiing. Like for real, I shouldn't be hugging the block out here by myself. Come on. I mean, it's a little bit dangerous, but it's fun though. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put the pocket three away because this is the tricky part. So put the pocket three away and we'll get to the next tip. Oh man, look at that view. Wow. Come on, man, come on. Tell me y'all. Y'all know y'all want to go skiing. Come on. Bit nerve wracking. <laughs> Tell y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? Quick side note. I, I don't even have my gloves on. What am I? I'm amateur hour over here. Come on. Come on, Sky Money. Actually, you know what? Let's get into the next tip before I forget. Because this is actually a good one that I almost forgot. I, or I actually forgot it in the other video I made on Pocket 3. And that tip is to literally grab that case that the Pocket 3 come with and throw it in trash. Hey man, you don't need that case. Matter of fact, you need to treat this like a pocket camera. Treat it like a point and shoot. So maybe use a sleeve, but don't use the case that it comes with. It is just too big. I have been using this without the case since the day I bought it. I've tried it with the case. It does not work. I'm just being real. It's just too much going on. So if I want to get a shot quickly, what I would do is just throw it in my pocket, take it out, and then throw it back in my pocket. Like, hey man, I'm being real. Throw that case away. I'm gonna go ahead and put on these gloves. I'm gonna start hugging the block. <laughs> Man, y'all. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm so, I was getting so nervous on the first run. Every time. All right, so this is the game plan. We're gonna go down that way and just hope, just hope that we go in the right way, okay? Try to head back down, hopefully we don't die. Also, my goggles are a bit loose, so we need to fix those. I'm telling y'all, your boy Sky Money don't know what he doing when it comes to skiing. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't even know how you tell which way is the easiest. <laughs> I just, I have no clue. But man, I just know that sun is really hot. Ooh, jeez. Man, that sun's hot. All right, let's, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that run went really well. <laughs> we didn't die. <laughs> I think we're going that way over there. And now look, I know I'm asking a lot of y'all by telling you to just shove this thing in your pocket because it does feel a bit delicate. Now it's not GoPro or action camera tough because again, this ain't an action cam. If you could throw the Sony ZV-1 in your pocket, you could just throw this in your pocket. I'm telling you, it is good. Even the gimbal 
it's fine. I haven't had any issues, and I've been throwing it in my pocket ever since, ever since I got it, pretty much. Usually, I do use a pouch, and a pouch can literally be just one of those, one of those like uh, glass cleaning, cleaning pouches that you get from when you get new glasses or something like that. That's what I've been using to hold a lot of my stuff in, because it just, it just works so well, and it doubles as like a cleaner for the lens. All right, Sam, say what's up, man. Yo. What's <laughs> <laughs> we got we got Sam on FaceTime. <laughs> Sam on FaceTime. I hope you can see him. I know it's bright. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Sam from Exploring the Forum. Make sure you check him out. He my homie for real. Okay. <laughs> all right, man. Get back to work, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> all right, man. But yeah, we got to get down this mountain. So let's get down. We'll finish up these. Uh, Finish with these uh, vlog tips I have for the Pocket 3, all right? So, I'll be right back. Oh, missed that bump. Oh, there's a party over there. Oh, eat it. Okay, made it down the mountain. And I pulled up at this restaurant. Oh, no, that's not mine. Yeah. Okay, now the next tip I have, now that we ordered some lunch, <laughs> the next tip I have is to actually take advantage of the microphone system in it. So if you got the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 combo pack, Definitely take advantage of using this mic. Like, put the camera away somewhere, sit it down, and just step back, chill, and use the actual wireless microphone because it audio quality is so freaking good. And it just works so well for getting a lot of different perspectives. Like, just, again, I only have the camera next to me. The camera's all the way at the end of the table. <laughs> but it works so well when it comes to vlogging and getting different perspectives. So definitely, definitely take the time and figure out your mic settings and use this microphone. There's legit a kid that just stopped and just like looked at me <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, definitely take advantage of the wireless mic situation because there's no way you can get a shot like this from down there and talking to the camera like this. And I'm like super far away from the camera. Plus, you also have that tracking game on you too so you can track it. Like, come on, just take advantage of stuff as well as you're able to like not waste memory by using the microphone as a remote, meaning I don't have to press record, go all the way down there, and then come all the way up and do the shot. I could just press record using a mic. So save time, save money, and save that space. <laughs> and now for me, I love getting shots like this. And when it comes to my settings for the DJI Mic 2s, I have it to literally just plus three. And yeah, I found that that sounds good, as well as I have low cut turned on. I also have 32-bit float turned on as well as I have it set up so that when I press record, it records internally as well. Okay, we just got our food. How are they coming out with this food so fast? Like I didn't, I legit just ordered like five minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, burgers, they cooking back there. <laughs> All right, we got burgers and fries and that's pretty much it. Like, and I real quick, hold on, I'm so sorry. Yeah, y'all yeah, want some of this? Like, here y'all go, yeah. take that fry right there, take it. Come on, open up. Look, it's enough that I have the biggest fail. Like I just got sauce all over my jacket. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. No idea how I did that. So look, I got it all over here, all right here. <laughs> yeah. I got it on this. All right, I got as much as I could of it off, but yeah, that was a that was a big fail. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe I did that. Got my whole jacket. I think it was when I was leaning over. <laughs> but yeah, I got the got the whole jacket dirty. I know right when it happened to, there was a dude like hang gliding right above me. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? And now something else that goes along with taking advantage of the mic system is also take advantage of the size of the Pocket 3. Like legit, I am in, it is crazy crowded over here and people don't really care. Like I'm just being real like, I mean, you might get some stares and some looks, but yeah, it's not like having like a big DSLR or the Sony, Z even the Sony ZV-E1 is a bit big. So really take advantage of the Pocket 3 size. Like overall, it is, 
it is great. And also take advantage of being able to shoot horizontal when it's like flipped vertical. Because legit, like you don't need to always have it the, where the screen is flipped out. Like take advantage of opportunities where it's like this, where the screen is vertical and you're just using it as if it was like the pocket one or the pocket two. I mean, especially if you like self-conscious about other people being around you, cause sometimes you are gonna be in situations where they're just, it's just kind of packed. Uh, no, you know, um, may I pay? Ah, thank you. Perfect, thanks man, thank you. Hey, yeah, you see what I mean? Like, I didn't even notice this was a camera. <laughs> Not nothing. It like feels nice, but my feet are cold. I don't know why my feet so cold. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. All right, I think we got everything. Let's go ahead and make it down a mountain and get back. I think I'm, I think I'm done skiing for the day. Man, I love skiing, but man, well, you get tired. <laughs> We made it down, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was a little worried because I didn't know where I was, but we made it. Now to the next tip, because the next tip is kind of kind of depends on you. And I would say the next tip would be to make sure that you pay attention to what you're shooting in. So if you're shooting in D Log M, now D Log M is supposedly the best way to get the most out of the camera, but I ain't even gonna lie, shooting in normal works as well, like especially with the mist filter. If you have a mist filter, Pimpin, use a mist filter for regular picture profile. And it, I'm telling you, it looks good. And now what's weird though too is that if you use a mist filter in D-Log M, like I'm shooting in D-Log M now, I kinda, I like the image, but I don't like it as much as when I'm shooting in the normal picture profile. And I think the reason for that is, is I noticed that when you're shooting with the mist filter on normal mode, cause normal mode, even though you have the sharpness turned all the way down, it's still a bit too sharp. But when you throw the mix filter on, it's like perfect. Versus the D-Log M version. The D-Log M, it's already soft enough. So I don't even shoot at negative two sharpness. I actually shoot at negative one sharpness on D-Log M and no mix filter on D-Log M because I feel like D-Log M is good enough without the mix filter. But normal mode, again, good enough where it is, but a really good picture is shooting with the mix filter. <laughs> back to the hotel oh. oh the worst part about skiing is walking in these freaking ski boots man they hurt like crazy <laughs> all right i'm gonna just um i'm gonna just leave these right there and go grab my boot all right but just to get back to the point if you do want to shoot in d-log m i will have a lot coming out soon actually Ugh. Why aren't these things coming out? It's a workout just to take these boots off. For vlogging with the Osmo Pocket 3 is to take advantage of the zoom. Believe it or not, but since you have the one inch sensor, the zoom in, like when you zoom in, yeah, it's digital, but it looks amazing, especially during the day. But even then, even at night, like I've taken so many shots and B roll shots at night using the zoom alone, and it, it looks amazing. Matter of fact, look, here's an example right here, okay? The camera is far away. The Pocket 3 is all the way down there. I have actor track on, so you can see the actor track is still on too as well. No zoom applied, right? Now I'm gonna apply the zoom really quick, sit back in the same spot, and I want you to tell me, can you notice the difference in image quality? So I'm here right now, no zoom, and then, and there we go. Now we're zoomed all the way in. Can you see, like for real, let me be honest, is there a huge loss in image quality? 
No, I mean, not from what I've been doing, because I, I use the Zoom a lot. It's one of my favorite features. And plus, Active Track still works while you're zoomed in. Look, I mean, I'm all the way over here. What, like, come on, like, be real. It's just so much better than an action camera zoom because you have a one inch sensor. And plus, this is not an action camera. Again, this is more of a point and shoot camera. And the, the, the digital zoom works. So take advantage of digital zoom because you can get so many different perspectives and get closer to things without getting that close to them. Even though it's a digital zoom, it still works extremely well. And now my last and final tip for vlogging with the Osmo Pocket 3 has to be is use it with a selfie stick. Go ahead and get a selfie stick, plug it at the quarter inch thread at the bottom. That way you can stretch it out and tilt it as well. And now ironically, I actually lost mine like an hour ago when I was skiing. <laughs> I didn't realize it until I literally got off the lift that it fell out of my pocket. But yeah, there are a couple of cheap ones online that, that I can recommend. I'll put the links down below. But yeah, I legit lost mine. But if you can, go ahead and get a selfie stick. That way you can extend it out just a little bit. It don't need to be that far away. But if you extend it out just a little bit further than where your arms can reach, one, it doesn't look all weird when you're using it. And two, it brings a much, like the image quality looks amazing. And the field of view just works a lot better when it comes to vlogging. I mean, because as you guys know, the Pocket 3 is a bit tight on the face, meaning so like if I grab it right now, like this is actually not bad, but then my arm is stretched all the way out. So again, definitely consider using a selfie stick, something simple, easy, that has a tripod legs at the bottom. Use that and I promise you will not regret it. All right, I think now I'm gonna go back to the hotel and take the kids sledding. So. Yeah, and maybe have a snack too. I'm I'm low-key still pretty hungry. All right, but yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Huge shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. And if you want to buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, because y'all know I ain't a hater. And then also down below, let me know if you have a Pocket 3. And if so, do you vlog with your Pocket 3? And if I missed any good tips for vlogging with the Pocket 3, I would love to know down below. Like, like them comments up, because you just might be helping somebody. You might make their day. So like them comments up. But again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully, hopefully, I mean, somebody finds my selfie stick. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> okay, quick side note. It is, it is lit over there. Jeez, they are partying it up. I need to, I need to get home before I get in trouble. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna cut the episode short. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think we're just gonna end it here. Y'all hear that? Look! Y'all hear that? <laughs> just on the mountains, chilling, like partying. Like look at that, the mountains right here. And they are just lit right there. 